Good evening, administration, dis distinguished guest speaker, faculty, family, friends, NHS members, and inductees. We are gathered here to formally recognize those students who have been selected for successfully completing their candidacy and are being inducted as new members of our NHS chapter. For current members and those former members who may be among our guests, we hope this will serve to remind you of the standards of excellence you are charged with maintaining as members of the nation's oldest, largest, and most prestigious student recognition program. The National Honor Society is comprised of four basic pillars, scholarship, service, leadership, and character. These four pillars are of equal importance. One does not outweigh the value of others. In order to be selected as a member, a student must optimize all four qualities. The officers and I will now review these qualities for the inductees. Please welcome Satchel Joaquin Martinez, National Honor Society Secretary, who will speak about leadership. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Secretary of the National Honor Society, Satchel Joaquin. We are gathered here today to be witnesses of another accomplishment these students have made. Inductees, I want to personally congratulate you on this significant achievement. And families, I hope you are very proud of them just like we are. Tonight, I will be giving a brief explanation on one of the four pillars of the National Honor Society, leadership. What is leadership, you may ask? If you want me to be honest, I don't know. To this day, I believe that there isn't a perfect definition of leadership that shows its true aspect. Leadership is not only being elected to an office, being elected to be the group leader, or being in charge of an event, but it's something way more significant than that. It's what you make out of it and what people will take as a role to follow. It takes a lot to be a leader, and some motivation is key for this. You want people to have someone that they aspire to be and that will be memorable for the rest of their lives. You need to be the person who faces their mistakes and owns up to them and takes pride in their mistakes. Being a leader is a person that understands its peers and tries their best to take part in their peer success. Leadership most of the time goes unnoticed, and this is mostly because we are just so used to doing the right thing and following what our instincts tell us to do. I personally love leadership in the National Honor Society because it can be contributed to the other three pillars as well. Of course, it's included in character, which everyone in this room exemplifies tonight. In scholarship, by tutoring someone and trying their best to help them out, and in service, by helping in our community events and in our community in general. Students, I can't wait to see how you will lead us in the right way. Always remember that mistakes are made to learn and to never be ashamed of them. Once again, I want to congratulate you for being inducted, and remember that even if you're in 15 clubs or just one, you can still be an amazing leader in your own way. At this time, I would like to introduce our president, Maddie Blythe, who will, spe who will be speaking about service. Good evening, everyone. My name is Madison Blythe, and I'm the president of the, of the National Honor Society here at Delsey. First and foremost, I want to thank everyone for their attendance tonight. Being inducted into the National Honor Society is an amazing milestone experience, so congratulations are in order to our inductees. Also, congratulations are in order to our parents and guardians out there in the audience for bringing up some exceptional young leaders. Being inducted here tonight is a reflection of your bright futures, and I can't wait to see how you implement leadership, character, scholarship, and service into your lives. Today, I'll be speaking on, the, on behalf of the pillar of service. Now, you might be in your seat right now saying to yourself, obviously I know what service is. I just made my mom go out to the store to buy a 10-pound frozen turkey for NHS. And you know what? You'd be right, except it's so much more than that. The unusually heavy turkey that you were struggling to carry into school is usually the highlight of a family's whole holiday season. It may, enough, it may not have seemed extremely significant to you, but the little things that we do add up to become life-changing. Each day, opportunities arise to better our school and community. 
Willingness to work for the benefit of those in need without compensation or recognition is a quality that we expect our members to uphold as a natural part of their lives. Members must pledge to volunteer their time and talents to create a better tomorrow. Engaging in community service provides students with the opportunity to become active members of their community and has a lasting positive impact on society at large. Service enables students to acquire life skills and knowledge, as well as provide their helping hands to those who need it most. Of course, there'll be Saturdays when you would rather sleep in instead of waking up at the crack of dawn to complete an activity of service. However, when your days as a member are completed, you'll be able to look back on all the things you've done for your school and community and realize the impact you've had. Most of the time, the impact is greater than you would imagine and more fulfilling than you would believe. At the end of the day, nothing beats knowing in your mind and heart that you made a difference. All in all, are making the tough choices, choices worth it? Absolutely. While it would be easier to slide through life without a purpose, without a code, it would not be fulfilling. So I call upon all of you to look within yourselves and to serve sincerely and unselfishly. Only by setting difficult goals and achieving them can we find true self-worth. Once again, congratulations to all of our new members. Thank you. Please welcome NHS Vice President Cassidy Driscoll to discuss scholarship. Hello everyone, my name is Cassidy Driscoll and I am the Vice President of the National Honor Society. Tonight I will be discussing the pillar of scholarship. When you Google scholarship, you will be bombarded with websites listing different college scholarships and the easiest scholarships to get. I know that when I first applied to NHS, I was confused to see scholarship as a pillar and I thought that was what my mom was always bugging me to apply for. But when I Googled scholarship again, this time adding definition to my search, I learned that scholarship is actually the aspect of NHS that people think of first. Scholarship is defined as a student's dedication to academic achievements and knowledge acquired through study. This is identified by the student's grades, attendance, participation, etc. However, I don't believe this definition fully encompasses what it means to have scholarship. Scholarship is more than just your grades and the quantitative data used to describe your performance. It's about the time and effort you put into learning. It's about your commitment to education. These students here today have all shown great dedication to their pursuit of knowledge. Learning is a lifelong journey. Each and every one of us will learn something new every day. Whether that be learning how to find the derivative or how to make someone laugh or how to make lasagna. We learn information every day that will help us be better humans. The pursuit of this knowledge helps us to achieve all the potential that we have. Knowledge is power, but it can also be connection. When you learn, you can share that knowledge with others and use it to create a more unified society and build stronger relationships. The knowledge that you gain today isn't just going to help you get that A on your next test. It's going to help you be a better friend, a better brother, sister, daughter, son, a better person. I implore you all to try and learn something new today, to make that connection with another person, to pursue that knowledge. Please welcome Treasurer Caitlin Byrne to speak on character. Prior to lighting the candle for character, I would like to first take a moment to describe what character means to members of the National Honor Society. Having exceptional character goes unseen on the outside of one's being, but shines through the personality and values of that person. Some attributes of character may include ambition, integrity, honesty, selflessness, and many more. Having true character is shown when one does the right thing, even when nobody else is watching. Embracing moral qualities and helping others before yourself without expecting anything in return is an excellent description of character. In the National Honor Society, we strive to develop character through doing good deeds for others. Being a leader in school and demonstrating integrity is an agreement that each and every one of the inductees here tonight will make. While all of us might come from different backgrounds, we have all made a commitment to ourselves and the person we aim to be. When an opportunity arises, having good character allows one to make the most out of the chance being given. 
Being able to conquer a task and stand back up every time you fall down is a necessary quality for having good character. It is not about how much we celebrate our successes, but how we use our failures to better ourselves as a person. Many times, those with good character find themselves sacrificing their own time to help others. It takes an immeasurable amount of strength and perseverance to build good character. Since perfection is never expected, being able to use mistakes made in the past to recover from a bad choice also shows good character. Being inducted into the National Honor Society does not mean that our time to build our character is over, but it provides the opportunity and motivation to continue building up wonderful character. There are many times where inductees will need to challenge themselves to create self-discipline to do the next right thing. Never allow others to come between you and making the right choice. Please welcome to the podium Dr. Piera Gravener, Superintendent of Delsey Regional High School. Good evening. Before I introduce our speaker tonight, um, I just wanted to congrat congratulate before the students, the parents, because those of us who have children or have taught children know that these young people would not be sitting here had it not been for the support and sometimes the push of those of you at home uh, who want to make sure that they accomplish all that they're capable of accomplishing. And to our new inductees, this is quite an honor. The NHS is really a very exclusive club, one that not everyone is invited into. And I think it's important that you understand that while they might, that might feel like it's something to boast about, it really isn't. What it is, rather, is a responsibility because you now embody what we believe the perfect Delsey graduate should look like. You have those four aspects of character, service, scholarship, and leadership. For me, as Caitlin mentioned earlier, the most important being character because it's the one on which all the other three are, are based. It's the one that shows us who you are because it's what you do and what you say when no one is looking or no one will know. That's the foundation for the rest of your life. So I encourage you to take those four traits and to carry them with you as you move forward uh, into college, into the military service, into the work world, wherever it is that you go, because those four traits will take you anywhere you want to be. So congratulations to all of you. Now, it's my pleasure to introduce our speaker tonight. Mr. Daniel Cliver is the 2021 T Delsey Teacher of the Year. Mr. Cliver has been teaching radio and TV broadcasting levels one, two, and three here since 2011. He is a graduate of the Art Institute of Philadelphia, and he began his teaching career at Bankbridge Regional High School. Dan is very involved in all aspects of life here at Delsey as our very own video historian. In addition to filming live events, he and his students produce the morning announcements, public service announcements, and advertisements for upcoming events. Dan and his wife, Anne, are the, are the parents of son, Kenny, daughter, Jasmine, and his new baby girl, Sarah. Dan's motto is, family means everything. Please welcome Mr. Dan Cliver. Good evening. It is my distinct honor to stand before you tonight to speak about the failures that have led us to this very moment. My apologies, that didn't come out quite the way I originally intended. Take two. Inductees, congratulations on this monumental achievement. This evening's ceremony truly is a celebration of the choices and the sacrifices you have all made. Over the course of your life, more specifically the last few years, you have demonstrated a commitment to learning, a willingness to serve, outstanding character, and the ability 
ability to lead. But tonight's not just about you. Look around. Those in attendance, your family, your friends, and the staff here at Delsey have all taken part in guiding and shaping you into the person you are today. Without them, this moment does not exist. Inductees, please take a moment via acknowledgement, please take a moment to acknowledge via applause those who have stood by your side throughout your lives. Now for a few words of wisdom. Disclaimer, most of you probably have heard the following before. Some of you might already live by them. Nonetheless, I'm going to share them anyway. Collect memories, not materials. Chase a passion, not a pension. Accept that everything happens for a reason and that failure is part of success. Allow me to elaborate. Now, I can't speak to your life's experiences. However, I'd be amazed if anyone here tonight has lived a life of perfection. I myself have taken an L from time to time. For example, 10 years, four months, six days, and roughly seven hours ago, I interviewed for a teaching position at a nearby high school. I remember it like it was yesterday. I got a good night's rest, had a bountiful breakfast, and obsessively practiced my responses to the questions I hoped they would ask me on my interview. When the interview started, I froze like a deer in headlights. Seconds turned into minutes, minutes into hours. At one point, I honestly think I called the interviewer Chip. I don't think his name was Chip, or his, his name actually was not Chip. <laughs> Suffice to say, I did not get the job and my drive home was a roller coaster of emotions. But as stated prior, everything happens for a reason and failure is part of success. Just one month later, I found myself in this very building, interviewing for the job that would define the next decade of my life. You see, it's failure that brought me here today with you extraordinary people. People I am proud to call my Delcy family. Inductees, congratulations once more on this achievement. It is well deserved. At this time, I'd like to bring up Dr. Sidoni Maitland. Thank you. Hello, I'm Dr. Sidoni Maitland, the Vice Principal here at Delta Regional High School. Congratulations to all the inductees. Congratulations parents, families, and staff who have supported and encouraged these students to meet the high standards of the National Honor Society. Membership is more than an honor. It's a responsibility and an obligation to maintain the outstanding qualities that resulted in your selection. Remember, now your peers and teachers will look for that caliber of excellence in your attitude, words, and actions. For our chapter to remain effective and meaningful, each member must be involved. Please endeavor to exceed your service responsibilities by actively participating in all our chapter projects. We welcome your new energy and new ideas. At this time, I would like to announce that membership in the Delcy chapter of the National Honor Society has been earned by these candidates through effective demonstration of the four qualities that serve as standards for the society. I call on the principal, Mr. Ceciola, to lead the inductees in the recitation of the pledge. At this time, inductees, please stand. I invite all current and former NHS members to stand with us. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I pledge myself to uphold, myself to uphold. The, high of the high purposes of the National Honor Society to which I have been selected. 
I will be true to the principles for which it stands. I will be loyal to my school and will maintain and encourage high standards of scholarship, service, leadership, and character. Thank you. You may be seated. I call on Mrs. Chard, co-advisor, to introduce the inductees. Thank you, Mr. Ceciola. Congratulations, inductees. Now, when your name is called, please step forward onto the stage to receive your token of membership and light your NHS candle. I ask the audience to please hold applause until the end. There's a lot of names. First row, please stand and proceed to the end of the stage. Okay. Caitlin Blackman. Caitlin enjoys baking, playing with her cat, and playing tennis. She plans on majoring in biology at RCSJ. Riley Boucher. Riley spends her time playing soccer, baking, and hanging out with friends. She will be attending VMI to play soccer and will major in chemistry. Aubrey Brown. Aubrey enjoys drawing and trivia. She is going to college for nursing. Angelina Caselli. Angelina enjoys falconry and plans on being a park ranger and becoming a falconer. Brooke Clark. Brooke spends time playing field hockey and softball. She enjoys participating in school clubs and spending time with friends and family. She will be going to a four-year college to become a dermatologist or a physician's assistant. Ariana DeGeorge. Slow down. Ariana enjoys cheerleading and spending time with her friends and family. She plans on attending a four-year university to major in biology. Daniel DeJoya. Dan spends his time playing video games, sleeping, and drinking water. <laughs> he will be going to college for film. Tyler enjoys fishing and intends to become a structural engineer. Tyler Diaz, I'm sorry. What? Oh, I forgot Kayla. I'm sorry, Kayla. Kayla Chapel. Can we pause for a second? I'm sorry. Spends her time baking, reading, writing, hanging out with friends, and listening to music. She will be attending college to become a therapist. Alexander Geeswine. Sorry, guys. Is that Alex? They, they're not in the right order. That's Alex. Okay. Alexander enjoys reading, riding horses, and spending time with friends and family, going to college to become a pharmacist. Trenton Hollywood. Trent likes to hunt, fish, and spend time with friends. Next fall, he will attend the University of Delaware for a degree in criminal justice, and afterwards he intends to serve in the U.S. Air Force. Henry Kobik. Henry spends his time playing soccer, playing golf, and hanging out with friends and family. He will be going to college to major in architecture and minor in business. Justin Lair. Justin likes to have good conversations about space and physics and intends to become an aerospace engineer and eventually make different types of aircraft or spacecraft like rockets. Brooke Lancetta. Brooke enjoys participating in swimming and cheerleading. She will be attending Rowan University to major in anesthesiology. Abby Lancetta. Abby spends time playing for the school field hockey team as well as club field hockey in her free time. Abby will attend Rowan University and major in nursing. Andrew Littlehales. Andrew enjoys running, video games, and reading. In the fall, he is going to West Point for chemical engineering. Cassandra Magliaco. Cassie enjoys playing field hockey, hanging out with friends and family. She plans on attending RCSJ for the nursing program and then transfer over to Rowan for her BSN. Alexi McDonald. Alexi spends time doing, her, doing competitive cheer, working and hanging out with friends and family. She will be going to a four-year college to study criminal justice and become an FBI agent. Talia Metcalf. 
Talia likes painting, programming, and volunteering. In the fall, she will be attending a four-year university. Samuel Phillips. Sammy loves to play hockey, and he plans to continue to play hockey in college. Jacqueline Puglia. Jackie spends her time writing, singing, and acting. Next fall, she will be working towards an associate's degree. Angelina Rodoloso. Rod Angelina enjoys dancing and playing, and plans on becoming an elementary teacher after she earns a bachelor's degree. Bradford Rom. Brad spends his time participating in JROTC, hanging out with friends, and taking classes at GCIT for law enforcement. He plans on becoming a police officer for the local police department. Caden Savine. Caden loves to play guitar and will be pursuing a music and engineering degree. Carly Wright. Carly enjoys spending time drawing, playing video games, and with friends and family. She will be attending a four-year college for animation and game design. Emma Afflerbach. Emma likes to spend time with family and, and friends and playing basketball. She will be going to a four-year college to pursue a career in education. Emily Ambrose. Emily plays soccer. She hangs out with friends and goes to the movies, spends time with family. She'll be attending a four-year college to continue her career in soccer and plans to choose a major related to math and science. Ryan Battle. Ryan likes to spend time traveling, playing soccer, and with his family and friends. He plans on continuing his education and will go to law school. William Bramble. Billy likes to be in the JRO to see and enjoys spending time with his fellow cadets. He likes to participate with the FFA as well as mixed martial arts with a second degree black belt. He'll be going to college and then join the military. Mason Carr. Mason enjoys spending time with family and friends as well as going to the beach and working out. He intends to go into business and real estate or get into a trade school. Samantha Cole. Sam likes to run track, weight train, hang out with friends, and travel. She plans on attending a college in the South and then becoming a physical therapist. Jordan Conrad. Jordan spends her time playing field hockey and with family and friends. She intends to go to Rutgers and do a degree in the medical field. Maya Cope. Maya likes to participate in the school musical as well as in student government. She likes to read and dance. Maya plans on majoring in criminal law. Zanya Durham. Zanya likes to shop, spend time with friends and family, and plays basketball. She plans on going to a four-year university while majoring in medicine. Alistair Farr. Alistair spends time participating in community service and expanding his comprehensive knowledge. He intends to pursue a business degree in hopes of creating an international nonprofit to aid aid millions of people. Logan German. Logan has enjoyed his time at the Delsey soccer team while earning a second degree black belt. He plans on going to college and majoring in computer information systems. Lauren Harris. Lauren likes to spend time dancing and reading. She will be attending college to become a pediatrician. Dominique Mastrody. Dominique likes to play softball and go to church. She will go on to college and become a dental hygienist. Faith Matheson. Faith enjoys playing tennis, reading, and hanging out with family and friends. She plans on attending college after high school to become a teacher. Charles McCann. CJ enjoys spending time with friends, helping people, and helping the community. He plans on attending college to obtain a degree in computer engineering. Allison McMurray. Allison spends time swimming and hanging out with friends and family. She plans on going to college to major in nursing and would like to swim in college. Julene Woso. Julene enjoys hanging out with friends and running. She intends to continue her education to become a forensic scientist. 
Lacey Orr. You can find Lacey spending time with family and friends, doing gymnastics and focusing on school. She plans to go to college, travel the world, and start a family. Erin Ortiz. Aaron is proud to be part of JROTC and the drill team. He sees himself getting a job in either the military or as an artist. Annika Petrillo. Annika spends her time listening to audiobooks, painting, and loves to volunteer at the Oasis Animal Sanctuary. Her future plans include going to college to study and caring for the ocean life. Allison Semensky. Allison enjoys working out and playing soccer and basketball. She also likes spending time with her family, dogs, and friends. She plans on playing soccer in college and majoring in health science, physical education, along with special education. Kylie Sloat. Kylie spends her time running in cross country, track, and working in AP art. She attends, intends on attending college and pursuing radiology. Angela Trout. Ange enjoys spending time with family and friends, playing her guitar, reading, running, playing chess, and studying facts about space. She plans to go to college for aerospace sciences and join the military. Samantha Warfield. Sam plays soccer and enjoys hanging out with friends and family. She intends on going to college and getting a good job. Now, once again, please welcome our principal, Mr. Sisiola. You may be seated. Good evening again, Dr. Gravener, Dr. Fitzpatrick, parents, board members, administration, Mr. Cliver, staff and students, thank you so much for being here tonight. Inductees. This evening is significant for so many reasons. It's significant because it's more than just being inducted into the NHS. It's much more than that. It's more than a night or a moment. It's an achievement. It's not a game. It's not a test. It's not an activity. It's the lifestyle that you've cho chosen to live. It is who you are. And I'd like to take that one step further. It's a representation of what you've been able to accomplish in one of the most difficult circumstances we could imagine. You were able to navigate the academic challenges created by the pandemic. You were able to find creative ways to serve others when parts of the world were shut down. You were a leader amongst your peers during a time when they needed you most, and you continue to be an impactful part of your community as we return to normalcy. The challenges of the past 20 months only make this accomplishment more impressive. You've chosen to travel a path in life and that path is lined with excellent. The students that are inducted tonight, both present members and new members, have demonstrated excellence in the four pillars that we've spoken about that signify the National Honor Society. Service, leadership, character, and scholarship. Becoming a member of this society is prestigious and honorable. It's a symbol of the hard work and dedication that you've invested into living your best life and I feel honored to share this moment with you. I've spoken about who you are as an inductee and what attributes you have that have gotten to you to this point, but I would be negligent if we didn't acknowledge the people that helped you get here. Parents and family members of our honorees, I'd like to congratulate you. I'd like to congratulate you on your impact that you've had on the young people up here, on the involvement that you've had in your students' award tonight. For your unwavering support, guidance, and dedication, you've laid their foundation for achievement. My sincere compliments to all of you. Inductees, to you I am humbled. You've demonstrated your ability to be the best, but more importantly, to be your best while bringing out the best in others. You've embraced challenges, reached goals, and strived for success, but all the while, you still have not lost the ability to serve others. It's difficult to balance the competitive spirit it takes to achieve success 
with the empathy and care it takes to lead and serve others. But you have done that in an exemplary fashion, and that's no easy task. I hope you accept this honor as a major accomplishment and continue to be who you are. A National Honor Society member, congratulations. Once again, this concludes this evening's ceremony. I want to thank you for attending. I want to, one more time, have a big round of applause for our members, newest members of the Delsey National Honor Society. <laughs>